It's your boy, it's Buddha boy, the public speaker. Uh, that's not... <laughs> I'm terrible at singing. That's bad. People are not laughing at me. <laughs> so I'll stick to public speaking because this is what I love. Because this is what I'm good at. Right? Well then, Spoo. Uh, geez, what was that, man? <laughs> when I asked me what was that? <laughs> yeah, but we're just having fun. We're just having fun. I just think, you know, it's important for you to, to love what you do. When you get an opportunity and you're on the stage and you're doing your thing, just express yourself, man. Be you, always speaking about public speaking before we get onto the presentation of your, your message, right? And also the preparation of that. Uh, I just think it's important, man, because people can see it, right? That you're not enjoying it, you're faking it. Young person, you've got the energy. You're a dancer, you're an entertainer. Now you're on stage. I remember in high school they would tell us, must stand like this. You must make sure that your feet are apart. I don't know how many meters. <laughs> Talk about social distancing. It started there. Like your feet must be. Then if you must, you must point that way. Your sharp nose. Like there were all of these rules. The certain way. Like this is how you must do things as a young public speaker. And I look back now and I'm like, no. You're restricting so many young people from expressing themselves. Showing you who they really are. When you're on that stage, do your thing. Do your thing, be expressive, have fun. Like now I just started laughing and singing, have fun, enjoy it, right? So, we're in episode three. If you haven't seen episode two and episode one, please go back. Junior Taki YouTube channel, it's there, it's for you, it's for free. Go back and watch it, right? Because we're going step by step by step. Episode one, public speaking, I shared my journey, we laid the foundation certain questions to get you thinking why you feel a certain way what your thoughts are on public speaking why public speaking why must we do it why is it so important that was episode one episode two we spoke about the preparation of your mindset because it all starts in the mind your thoughts about yourself your thoughts about public speaking the skill your thoughts about the audience your thoughts about your teacher. Because sometimes you're just like, I don't like my teacher, so therefore I'm not going to speak. Ah, right? Because all of these thoughts you need to master, you need to have in control. And I shared with you strategies that you can use to make sure that you master your negative thoughts. Yes! Seven years, eight years, now nine years doing this, you're not the only one. There are times when I still get nervous. Even now, even now, I don't know how many times I've been on stage. On average, I'm on stage 60, 70 times, 80 times a year. And there are times when I still get nervous, right? So you're not the only one. But I'm going to share with you when we speak about the preparation of the message on how you can deal with those nerves. But if you want to find out more, go back. Episode 2, Junior Taki YouTube channel. It's there for you, right? Preparation of the message. So sharp, good. Mindset, Nandi, Nandi boy, Nandi girl, you've got your affirmations, you've played it out in your mind of how it's going to take place. Now, the teacher says to you, go and prepare your message. What do you do? Decide on a topic. Because usually, when I was in high school, they would say, choose any topic that you want. Topic is very, very important very important and B, one of my mentors by the name of Vusite Maguayo uh, he shares a story 15 years old and um, he had detention so he had to choose between going to detention because if he goes to detention he gets a, a spank like there's a spanking and then there's a beating <laughs> those two things are not the same right so he had to choose do I go to detention I'll tell my parents, or do I get up on stage and I speak? And he decided, I'm going to get up on stage and speak. He spoke about what women want. At 15, Baba, imagine what women want. You are 14, you are 15, you are speaking about how to make a million. 14, 15, where? I'm not even getting pocket money talking about how to make a million. So he got up on stage and he spoke about and people 
wooed him off the stage. Speaking about what women want, right? Topic, topic, topic is important. Topic is important. As I was preparing this message, this presentation, I thought we can learn a lot from Daily Sun. Who is Daily Sun? What is Daily Sun? Daily Sun is a newspaper that has the most ridiculous, eye-attractive headlines. Like if you are looking for headlines and someone to learn from, it's Daily Sun. They will have you wanting to read the newspaper just from one kind of headline that you've seen on the road. Like I've seen the most ridiculous ones. Man kills himself three times and comes back alive. How? Oh, how did he come back alive? Right? So it's showing you, young person, fun, it's showing you the power of a title when it comes to deciding what is it that you're going to speak about. I mean, you don't even have to get into your body, but already your title, it's got people on the edge of their seat. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. I wonder what he's going to speak about. So don't just take an ordinary title that is boring. Find something, man. Hey, I'm challenging you. As you prepare your message, just try and be controversial, Nyan. Get people on the edge of their seat. Pick a topic, a title, where people are going to go, hmm, as boy. Let's see. We'll go to Lowe's or Penina. The power of a title. Take time to get that title. That's going to get people wanting more. Now you've got your title. What do you do? It's important to understand what exactly is expected from you and what you would love to do, right? Not all of us are motivational speakers and we share words that are positive uh, or inspirational speakers. Some of you love animation. Some of you love thriller. Some of you love horror. Some of you are very descriptive with words. Some of you are entertainers, man, right? So that's important when it comes to putting together your message. How would you like to put your message across? What is your personality like? That's why it's getting to understand and getting to know you. Are you going to inspire? Are you going to motivate? Are you going to educate? Are you going to inform? Or are you just gonna share jokes with us? It's okay, it's okay, man share some jokes with us but just make sure you make us laugh or we'll laugh with you and then we'll laugh together right so as you're preparing your message title very important very very important catchy on the edge of our seat right and then you get on to what is it that i would love to do what is it that i would love to share then go into brainstorm right brainstorm ideas 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 experiences, lessons, what is it that I can share that is aligned with my topic, that can get my point across? What is it that I can just brainstorm, brainstorm, don't think too hard, I must have it all together, brainstorm, 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 brainstorm. Idea comes to mind, write it down. Idea comes to mind, write it down. Experience comes to mind, write it down, right? This part of the process is not for you to have it all together. It's just that many ideas. Then you can start to pick from those ideas. So, do the brainstorm, right? Preparation of the message, title. I'm going to keep on repeating this because repetition is power so that you get it, right? Teacher says English oral. Number one, what's your title? Make sure that it gets people on the edge of their seat. Then you get on to what? What is it that I would love to achieve with this presentation? What is it that I'm going to do? Entertain, inform, educate, make people laugh. I call it the six C's. Clarity cuts confusion. Clarity creates connections. Clarity cuts confusion. And then clarity creates connections. So, title you've got. Brainstorming you've done. Now you want to put it all together because now it's everywhere. It's mixed masala, right? It's mixed masala. Now you want to put it all together. I'm going to share with you a framework that you can use. And this is a framework that I use. And, and it's... It's great, man. I share this in my training and you're doing it in school right now where you write it down and you write it down as though you're writing an essay. An essay has an intro, then it's got the body, then it's got the conclusion. Because sometimes you're like, 
when am I going to speak about this? When do I speak about this? When, do I, when you're writing an essay, you don't put the conclusion in the introduction. You don't put the body in the conclusion, right? You know that the introduction is to what? Set the foundation. The introduction is to introduce what you're going to speak about. Then you have your body where you've got four, five points that you can get across, right? To make sure that people get what you're trying to do, conclusion, you wrap it up. I was invited to go and speak to young people at one of the schools, Komami, and I didn't know what I was going to speak about. Um, you might even get there where you have like a brain freeze, like, but do I speak about this? You're confused, right? Listen to your heart, listen to your heart, listen to your heart. Okay, let me stop this. Let me get back to what I do next. Listen to your heart. What is your heart saying? If your heart is saying this is the topic, then go for that topic. So for me, in that situation, they were running out of time, these great 12s. So I thought, okay, I'll take the word time and I'll break it down into acronyms. Time. T, teamwork. I, invest in yourself. M, mindset. E, extra. It's a simple framework, right? I just took a word, I broke it down, then I put something to, I put a word to the letter. Take the word time, break it down, and then put a word to the letter. T, teamwork. I invest in yourself. M, mindset change. E, extra. This is bonus, guys. I'm sharing with you, like, powerful. They won't forget it. You won't forget it. Because you may be saying, yes, well, I've written down my speech, but now I need to memorize word for word everything on this so that I don't forget. What happens if I start with this and I'm supposed to do that? That framework helps you. And I started off, I said, all right, I'm going to speak on teamwork, investing in yourself, mindset change, and extra. Even now, I still remember. And I remember, I started off with teamwork. Then I went to invest in yourself. Then I went to extra. And the audience said, no, no, school. Ah, uh, ah, uh, papa. Let's start. So I took my audience on what? That's one frame that you can use as you prepare the message. Use acronyms. Acronyms that you can remember. Right? And as you break down those acronyms, what I would do is I would define teamwork, tell a story about teamwork, and leave people in charge. Define investing in yourself. What does it mean? tell a story about it, and then leave them with a challenge. It was all in my mind. I'm speaking about mindset. Okay, what is mindset? Let me tell a story, an experience, maybe that I went through, that my family went through, um, that friends went through, that we can relate to something that happened, right? And then leave them with a challenge. Okay, extra. Hmm, what do I mean by extra? Story, leave them with a challenge. It's one of the frameworks that you can use. You won't forget it as you put together the message and crystallize it. So, I hope what I've shared with you today will help you as you prepare for that English oral, as you prepare for that interview, as you have to stand up and sell and pitch and share your stories and be you. That framework will take you very, very far. All right, so I'll see you guys on episode number. Which episode is this one now? This one is still in it. I'm going to see you on episode four. <laughs> I'll see you on episode four, the last one we'll be speaking about. Now you are on stage. So, until then, Take care, keep preparing, keep preparing the mindset, keep preparing the message so that when you get on stage, you can wow your audience. This is Fusiso, Joshua Malemi, signing out. I will see you in episode four.